Hello, in this video we're going to talk about partial derivatives. Now before we get started with the mathematics of this concept, I'd like for you to think about going hiking in the mountains. And I've got a picture of somebody hiking in the state of Hawaii right here. And if you've ever been to Hawaii, you'll know that there's these mountain trails that you can walk along and, you know, you're walking along a, a pretty decent gradient. It's not too strenuous. But if you were to step off of the trail into the bushes, um, you'd be facing a pretty steep cliff. Okay, so the idea with the partial derivative and the idea, the connection to this hiking in Hawaii example, is that sometimes when we're standing on a surface, we, we find that the slope in one direction, right, like the slope along this trail, is pretty shallow. Okay, so I'll label that like a, a shallow grade, a shallow a slope, not too steep, not too bad. But if you were to go and move along a different direction on the surface, like if this person were to jump down into the bushes, that's a pretty steep slope. And so this idea of a partial derivative means that when you're on a surface, some directions you might travel, they're going to have kind of one rate of change or, or one type of slope, but if you move in a different direction, the slope or the gradient could be very different. Okay, let's make this more precise. So I'd like to give you the definition of a partial derivative. So definition, the partial derivative of a function f, so the partial derivative of f with respect to x at a point a, b is given by the following. We write f with a subscript x of a, b. This is just the limit as h goes to 0 f of a plus h comma b minus f of a b all over h. All right, and the way that we read this notation here, we read this as the partial derivative of f with respect to x at a b. Okay, so that notation there with the, the little x written as a subscript and that's the notation for the partial derivative of f with respect to x. And then in parentheses, we're going to evaluate that at some point a, b. And, okay, and similarly, we've got the partial derivative of f with respect to y at a, b. And that's given by the limit as h goes to 0 of this difference quotient. In the numerator, we have f of a comma b plus h minus f of a, b all over h. So notice then in each of these different partial derivatives, when we're working with the partial derivative with respect to x, notice that the, the x coordinate, the x component, that's what's getting that a plus h, that's the piece that we're, we're kind of moving forward a little, a little chunk of h with. Okay, and similarly when we're doing the partial derivative with respect to y, it's the y component that we're looking at the rate of change in. Okay, we want to know how does the function change when we move a little bit in the y direction. Um, and that's our partial derivative with respect to y. So other notation for partial derivatives. So we'll see all of these and you should be very comfortable and flexible with any of these pieces of notation. So we've got the partial derivative of f with respect to x. You might see the partial derivative of f with respect to x evaluated at some particular point. You might see the partial derivative of f with respect to x. So that's a curly d. So notice the curly d. So this is, not, this is different than derivative of a single variable function back in Calc 1. You could also see the partial derivative with respect to x of a function f of x, y. Partial derivative of f with respect to y, partial derivative of f with respect to y evaluated at some point. Um, the curly d notation, partial derivative of f with respect to y, partial derivative with respect to y of some function. So any of those sorts of notation you should know they mean a partial derivative.